Hi, this is Dr. Vicente again. I have one question. How did Singapore become one of the top nations that use ICT in its entire society, in education, in business, and in the way that they govern the entire nation? Well, let me explain to you how. First of all, we need to know that Singapore is a very small nation in this part of the world. Yet, despite its smallness, it is one of the top nations in relation to the production of oil. Right there behind me is the Singapore Port Authority, those cranes there. They are one of the top clean oil exporting nations in the world alongside Houston and Rotterdam. But they don't have their own oil reserves. Amazing because they innovate. They actually import oil from the neighboring countries in this region and they clean it. They also have one of the most advanced resorts, casinos in the world. Two years ago, and also this year, they managed to beat the entire Las Vegas trip. Again, they leveraged on their location and bringing in tourists who, are, who love to play with their money in casinos and in gambling. But let's talk about the ICT again. Several years ago, Singapore was struck by SARS, S-A-R-S, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. It was an illness that paralyzed the entire nation. Schools were closed, businesses closed, people were avoiding contact with each other, and they did not even want to go outside in the streets. Because of that experience, Singapore realized that they need to invest on something that would enable them to continue business even though they are forced to stay indoors. That's when they invested on intensive and ubiquitous ICT. So their rationale for investing in ICT is survival. We'll talk more about how Singapore and other nations have leveraged ICT in our course. Learning tools for the 21st century. Thank you.